personal. It's the number one voice of the tri-state. I'm uh, number one. It, 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 it's clicking, clicking up 215. So let the show begin. Here we go. Y'all already know who it is, your boy Smooth, and this is Cooking Up 215, where we get you up close and personal with your favorite artists, entrepreneurs, shakers, and move makers, and we got a major shaker in the house today. We got my man, yeah. Amir Ali, in the building. Yeah. My God, what's yeah. up, bro? How are you? Shaking and moving right now. Yeah, bro. Trying to, bro. Trying to make some noise, you know what I mean? You're doing it, brother. I'm just getting started. We got we got to drop the train when we when we out here doing it. We yeah. got to own it, yeah, you know what I'm sure. saying? For sure, for sure. You're right. You're absolutely right, when, brother. When you moving, you got to admit to that movement. Yeah. You drop. Yeah. You went on Cosmic Cab and you lit some shit on fire and it been fire eight since. Or on fire. That's an understatement, bro, right? My 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 life changing because of it. Are you For real? Yeah, hey, bro. The like, phone is ringing. The, the phone the, ringing. The execs is hitting the line. Man, I done been places. You know Dude. what I mean? I done rap, but I done sat down with a few people. But you know what I mean? You know, shout out, and shout out to Cosmic Kev. You know what I mean? For even giving me the opportunity. It was just like purely off the talent and the music that like um you know had him reach out to me and set that up and he gave me the opportunity to go up there and handle my business and that's what I did. Like, so that's how he just heard something of yours and was like, I like what you do. Shot me the DM, yo. You know what I mean? And then, you know what I mean? I got, I mean, one, one of my folks, you know what I mean? Shout out to Philly Prince, you know what I mean? Okay. Behind the cam. That's my uh, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He tapped me in, like, you know what I mean? And we rap, we set the date, you know what I mean? I was patient with him. I just was like, I'm following your lead. Mm -hmm. When the time came, I was just ready. Like, you know what I mean? And you got to be ready. Yeah, that was the biggest thing. Like, you got to be ready. Yeah, that was my biggest thing. I just wanted to be ready. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because, you know, it was a lot of hoopla in between. You know what right. I mean? It was a little time in between, too, like from when he first reached out and when it actually happened. Mm. But, you know what I mean? I just was more so focused on, like, if, it, if it's right for me, like, if the, if the setup happen. is right. I'm right. gonna handle my business, and that's that's what I was on. So, like, so for a second, you thought like it, it might like time started lapsing. You like this shit might not even come through. I don't even think that was a thought for me. I think I okay. just was like when it happened. When I get there, because he called me. Yeah. So I'm like, I mean, I'm like, bullshit. damn, like yeah, yeah, like he called me. I ain't, I wasn't on Kev line like begging like, yo, Kev, I'm trying to get up on a come up show. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Um, he hit me, so I was like. He ain't hit me for no reason. Like he ain't just hit me and then gonna flick on like or I don't, I don't know. I don't even think I was thinking that way. You just was like, I just when was it happened, like yeah. I'm, I'm gonna make sure. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave a print. You know what I mean, I, I, I wanted everybody to see yeah. what I was. You know what I mean, capable of like. How many views is it up to now? I know it's in the M's. I I, I believe yeah, last time bro, I checked it was a. It was I think a it's like bit. four. I think it's like four point three million right Damn. now. Damn. And that's on one post. It's another post on TikTok got like one point something million on mm. it. Um, it's other little clips of it got two hundred, three hundred thousand. Like right. It's, you know what I mean? When so that joint definitely doing some M's right up, now. Bro, it's doing crazy bro. numbers. I don't even know how, bro. We ain't put no ads behind it. We ain't put no money behind pure it or talent, nothing. Bro. Yeah, just pure, pure talent. Pure talent bro. catch fire. Like that's that's the one thing that yeah. people never seem to really understand is that when it's raw talent, it's gonna do that. Yeah. You know for what I'm sure. saying? You gotta really come up with business plans and tactics and angles when you really ain't got shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, you gotta yeah, really yeah. go the business route when you ain't really got it like that. But when you got it, yeah, yeah. motherfuckers gonna flock to yeah, it. Somebody no, gonna hear it. it and it's gonna catch like wildfire. Yeah, bro, and that's what happened. So like, you know what I mean? Like I said, all kinds of people done reached out and I done tapped in with some uh, legendary artists, you know what I mean, that reached out and all, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You know, like, I wanna keep certain things under wraps, but. Um, What's the biggest name you could give us to somebody that tapped in after hearing that freestyle? Um. The biggest name, yeah, I and it's crazy because I don't want to compare names, but like, oh, well, like the, a the name D, that the DM you, that I got, that, way. that like I woke up and uh -huh. Shaq hit my DM. Oh damn! And I was like, damn, I'm like Shaquille no, like, and it's you know what I mean, you know, for me and That's my hard. folks, like you know what I mean, I've been rapping for years, like you know what right. I'm saying, but I just started taking it serious, so like I knew I was all right, yeah. but it's it's still crazy when you do something. And then somebody like Shaq or reach out. You know what I mean? And then from there, it's been all kinds of people hit me. You know what I mean? Right. Well, let, let's take it back. You know, cooking yeah. up, we all, we like to always go back, give people a feel for Amir Ali, you know, how he came up and anything yeah. like that. 
So you you come from like a musical household. Yeah. Like music is in, in your, your bloodline a little bit. Like yeah, your, yeah, your yeah. mom used to rap. Yeah. For she sure. opened up for Big Daddy King yeah. in Lincoln. Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, bro. And like, you know, she got the tape. Like my grandfather recorded her. And damn, opening up. Yeah, that's like, you know what I mean. So I, Especially I watched, back then they ain't had cell phones. That's what I'm saying. He had the big ass camera. <laughs> you know what I mean? He had the, the whole the whole setup. But right. um, you know, just watching that as a kid, coming up, um, good music has always been in my household and all the households I was raised in. Um, my family they real music uh, music oriented and like um, you know. My my sister wound up picking up the saxophone and she the keys. Sa- sax bay. Sax bay. Imani Loren. You know yeah. what I mean? Shout out to her. She um getting views. Yeah, caught she, a million views on YouTube and shit like oh, that. She I didn't been to some place. She didn't took me to some places before I could even get there. You understand what I'm mm. saying? And like and showed me some things and like had some business done and I was just like, oh no, this is a real thing. Like you know what I mean? Is that her that's playing the sax in that video you got? Yeah. That's yeah, her? yeah, that's her. That's uh, her. Yeah, on Cyril Avenue Blues, she plays. Yeah. Every, you know what I mean, every now and again, whenever whenever I can get her in the studio, I, I bring her in. Please bring the sax, bring the keys. Yeah. She know how to play the guitar, the drums. I'm like, bring all the equipment. You get musical like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and I and I dive deep. A lot of people come to the studio, and they be like, Yeah, bro, come on, let's work. You know what I mean, you know, they'll have a verse or they'll write their verse, you know right. what I mean? And they be ready right then and there. I'm like, nah, bro, I'm patient. I'll take my time. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm listening to the beat for three days straight. Mm. And then the fourth day, I'm like, no, we need Monty to come in with the sex. And everybody like, you sure? You sure? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, no, nah, for real, for real. Like, I like that, bro. And I'm like, yeah, bro. I'm like, that's why I say music been in my family forever. And you know what I mean? Um, I've, wa- like, I've always enjoyed Good music, all kinds of music too, not just rap, not just right. hip hop and R and B. Like, like just all, growing up, your mom used to play all types of shit. All in the kinds house, of right? stuff, bro. All kinds of stuff, and like that. You know what I mean? You know that that shaped me the way I am. Like to where as though I want, I want to work with musicians in the studio. Yeah, because I mean, it makes a difference, bro. It's like it I remember hearing Lil Wayne talking about how he take like two months. It was either two weeks or two months to finish one verse, yeah. something like that. Like he'll write a line, mm-hmm. come back another day, write another line, like. It's, it's yeah. not even like being lazy, but it's about thinking that hard and about putting it. that yeah. much thought into your, your verse. And it, I don't think until you get older, you don't think about how the fact that how fast niggas is writing verses. Like you said, yeah, somebody sure. coming to the stool and you done wrote it in a half hour. How much thought did you really put into it if you got yeah, done in a half sure. hour? Yeah, for sure. For sure. And you know, everybody like, you know, because Hove is a genius right? when it comes to that. And some people off the top. They just got it better than other people. That's just I don't, how it I'm is. I'm gonna be like, real. I never spoke the hove. I don't know if hove, somebody else might have got out of hove. I right. think that hove put a lot of this shit together at home already. I, I ain't saying he write it, but yeah. I'm saying like he probably thought it up and been yeah. like you know like you said listening to it for four days. Exactly. And he yeah. put a line in his head. So and when by the he time get, he to, get the to the studio, studio, it's just easy to exactly. Yeah. He pulling it right off the top of his head. I, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't. But then you know, because I'm sure he got to put thought in his shit. He, he say some real thought. That's what, what I'm too. saying. You he what make saying? you think. So right. You, you got it. He ain't just. But then I don't want to say because I don't know. He just could be that yeah. that gifted where though he's come up with this shit like this Listen, out the blue. Bro. Yeah, I don't want to say. You know what mm. I mean? I don't know who. Not yet. Who you, know you gotta come up here yeah, and come yeah, clear yeah. that up? You gotta got explain <laughs> it to me or show show me how. You right? know what I mean? Because he might unlock check. another level for me. Like that's you know for real, for real. So Michael Jackson inspired you a lot. Like that was real big for you back in the day. Uh yeah. So like my family, they, the Jackson Five and all of that. That was in the crib all day long. Yeah. That Michael Jackson movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was on nonstop. The Wiz. The Wiz. Yeah, I mean, like just anything Michael Jackson related. And I think seeing that as a kid and seeing a kid rise and mm-hmm. being adult, be, right. I always wanted that. You know what I mean? So you know, I'm getting older. I'm like, damn. I ain't starting as early as my, <laughs> you know what I mean? But, you know, I still always crave, like... The success. being Like, a lot of people don't like the fame, and I'm not really, a um, like, a mixy person. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I don't really be in a mix too much. Um, but Mike w- made me want to be a superstar. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he's, he's somebody I looked at, like, where he owned it completely. Like, since a child, he was just owned. You could yeah. see it when he on stage. That's why I look like that. That's why he performed that way, because... 
he owned that shit. And, and went like, fully into it, gave yeah. it his all. Right. So, you know what I mean? You know, as a kid, yeah, seeing that, definitely. was a, That was that was like some of the stuff that was just on in the crib. Right. And I'm sitting in there, like, I can't watch cartoons because they watching them. Like, Jackson. Watch. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, like, and the crazy part, bro, it's like one of the first music videos I remember was the joint with with the sand and the pharaoh shit and all that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's one of my yeah. favorite Eddie songs. Murphy and them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I used to see that video nonstop on TV. That was all you seen. As yeah, you right, bro. So and I like, it's, see it. it's, um, you know, it's contagious. It made, he, like I said, he made me want to be a superstar. Like, I ain't mm -hmm. really a mixy person. I don't like to be in the mix. I don't like people in my business. And, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm quiet. I stay to myself and my folks. But, like, right. Mike had that other side for me like where it's like damn no Makes I, you open up to I want to get on stage right. and I, I, I mean I want to get on stage and people cry like you know what I mean damn. he, he get on stage and people straight. people just cry he don't even do nothing like just standing you know there man? 20 so minutes like, straight they was falling out yeah as a kid that made me want to yeah that's crazy Jeez, that. so one of your uh like a song that went viral well before viral was viral 2011 you had go ham yeah yeah Is that where you got like your first to taste the popularity it's off of crazy. music it's crazy um it's crazy that you even brought that up because like I ain't even it's I don't look at it that way because back like how I look at my musical journey bro I ain't really I ain't start till that uh I ain't start till last year till last year right you know what I mean all of that I made go ham I was making music I had friends that had you know that's when studio equipment started becoming a little bit easier to get so my man around. just had it mm -hmm. and I'm recording I'm making music but I like had one foot in and one foot out mm -hmm. and I, I never really took it like completely serious you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying and like you know so go ham i just threw it on the internet and like i i remember it going from like my friends and like they it's crazy because my old my rap name used to be meech like you know what i mean like big meech like you know what i mean like so i remember just walking around uh i'm walking around west philly you know what i mean somebody random like yo meech i'm like Dang, bro, I heard that track, bro. Like mm -hmm. and that, like that started happening to me. I'm like, right. damn, people, they people, re people really like the music. Like, yeah. I'm like, damn, I'm about to take it serious. But you know, I never really did. You were still you in know, and yeah. out of the music. Yeah, I was growing. I was growing up. You know what I mean? Being young and dumb, but you know what I mean. I, so I know I in 2019. Uh, yeah. Sorry for your loss. Your brother passed. Yeah, yeah, man, and he died. You know what I mean? Long with him, man, he died, man. I appreciate it. You know what yeah. I mean? Bringing it up. Yeah, heavy, heavy influence on me. He, uh, the first rap I ever wrote, I like went to, like, cause we used to, you know what I mean? We smoke weed, you know what I mean? We get high in the basement uh, right, when we yeah. kids. All the and, shit you, do, you know what I mean? And you, you turn on the instrumental. Right. You know what I mean? You turn on a little Wayne instrumental, then we spitting. Mm -hmm. I went home one day and I wrote and I came back. Mm -hmm. and you know, there we go again. We going through the whole process. He rapping off the top, mm. and then I said my joint. He stopped the music. He was like, "Yo, was like, hold on, I got to call." And you know what I mean, shout out my other man Jay, long live Jay too. He called Jay. They was the first two people to hear my first written, you know what I mean, right. rap. Like I, you know what I mean, he called Jay like, "Yo, you got, you got to get down here and listen to me." Like this, this, Jay. <laughs> this nigga nice. Like yeah. you know what I mean, and you know they, they, you know, Manny was always just like big and you know what I mean influential on just like the love like we shared that the love for music like love music. anybody that know him he was playing all kinds of stuff like mm. I never forget one time you know what I mean it's a sidebar he he put on a love song he start freestyling to the love song like why the why the why the uh, I think it was uh Karim Bailey like a star mm. you know what I mean he turned that on he started rapping to it and the rap hot. I'm like, yo, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? So we just shared that love for it and we did it there. It was something we did outside of being outside and ripping and running. Like, you know what I mean? Right. We would come back in the crib that and we'd be doing that do for the yeah, So right, like, yeah. you know, especially when it comes to the music, I, I definitely dedicate this whole journey to him and Jay. You know what I mean? Because like I said, they was the first two people to hear me and they was like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. when'd you do that? Like, when'd you go home and, you know and create I mean? this concoction? Who, who, <laughs> gave, who gave you the confidence to even go home and really put, put the lines together? Like and I was that. like, no, I wrote it last night. They like, yo, you got, we got to take you to the studio. And that's how, like, that started happening. That's how it started like, happening. Yeah, so. So it said, though, after he passed, like, you was kind of done with music. Like, you wanted to just yeah. walk away. I was still, I mean, you know, that 2019, not that long ago. Yeah. You know I mean, um, you know, I was still, I think I was just in the process of growing, you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, 
you know, the, the, the grieving part for me around that time, like, initially I just had to, I kind of was like on a brink, like, you know, you lose somebody so close, you know what I mean, um, it almost like drive you a little crazy. In the very beginning, it's like, you don't know how to even fathom what's going on. And I think in that midst of it, I just wanted to get rid of everything that yeah, I felt like was nothing. from my past. I wanted to grow in, into something new. So I just was like, I mean, you know, and shout out my, my manager, B, you know what I mean? He, he's sitting over there. He, uh, he was like one of the, he was heavy, a uh, heavy influence on me. Just like, yo, you need to be rapping, bro. Like, I know yeah. you want to get money and do, do your this, that, and the third. He's like, is it. like, yeah, bro, you could work a job. You could hustle. You could still rob, still kill. You could do all of that. That's nice. But I <laughs> that think. That shit cool, but this is yeah, what he's like, he like, God, you know what I mean? Put you here to do this. So like, and I used to go through it with him all the time. Like, bro. I'm off that shit. I'm done. Like mm. we had, it almost got physical one time. We in each other's face. Like he like, bro, that's what you need to be doing. Like you know what I'm saying. So, 2019, it just was an eye opener for me. And I think, um, you know, I just I wanted to shed the music yeah. thing. I wanted to shed Meech. I wanted to shed. You know what I mean, you know, the pain of like thinking about my brother being the first person I took a, a rap to. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I just was trying to get rid of stuff. So Yeah. That's what that was about. But I could totally understand it. I was still I was sneaky, I was still writing. Right. You know what I mean? I would go home and write a rap and then I'd come to cuz and I'd be I'd come to B. Be like, yeah, turn on the instrumental record. And I'd rap to <laughs> Give him, him a little And then, then he'd be mad at me. He'd be like, bro, see this one. Cause I'm talking you still about? talking yeah, about quitting like, this yeah. shit. <laughs> I'm like, nah, bro, I'm off it. He like, Just see give him a teaser. Like, let me yeah, give you a little no, teaser. I, I, ain't I would doing do it, that every now and again. So I was still writing it. It never went nowhere. I think I just wanted to I was trying to deal with the pain. That's really all that was. I get that. But, that's, that's, that's something, man. Can't nobody fathom that. I would hate to yeah. fathom that. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, no. I lost no. my grandma around the same time, so I, yeah. I can imagine. Yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? Sorry for your love. I think yeah. a lot of people, it's crazy because it's the same time of COVID and all that shit start happening. Yeah. Like a lot of people took losses in a lot yeah. of different ways mm-hmm. in those last couple of years. So a lot of people, either you either learn how to take an L and grow. Or you still lost now? Yeah, know like that. That was that was one of my biggest things. Like, you know what I mean, because I was running wild with Manny Dot, and like, you know, I had to make a decision. It was like, all right, you either gonna crash out and just we'll get this shit together, or you gonna get your entire life together. You gonna start, you know what I mean, working on your mental health. You gonna start working on your just your overall health. Period. Right. And like, you know, the energy you taking in, and like what you actually doing, and start being intentional with your time. Or you could crash out. We in Philadelphia, like right. I mean, that's that's like a heavy option out here. Like that's the that's the, that's what I'm about to ask you next too. Like yeah. being as though you are starting to see some traction, even though you say you really just start taking it serious like a year ago. Yeah, but you already moving. You getting phone calls. You getting recognized by certain people. I ain't expect to be here at all. It'd be hard yeah. sometimes because we still live in Philly. Yeah, so we still dipping the dad. We in the streets. We still got move around. Yeah, are you like? making steps to remove yourself fully from distractions or you still find yourself mixed with no distractions i'm and- absolutely outside of that shit because like i had to make the decision like you right. know what i mean like all right you either gonna crash out and that's my thing like i always come back whenever something come up because it's distractions out here like you said we yeah, have philly easy you know yeah what I mean? we you still could around be, you could you could go outside right now and something could but i always add it's something in the back of my mind like yo like you made your choice like mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like if you was going, like if you gonna crash, I'll go all the way. Don't go halfway. Don't crack. Don't be. You know what I mean? When you walk outside one and get in, in one step by. yeah. Like no. I, so when it comes to the music, mm-hmm. I'm like a thousand percent in, mm. and like that's that's all I do. Okay. Like you know what I mean? I I run in, I run around, hustle, and invest all my money into music. Like that's dope. I'm I'm going. You know what I mean? That's my plan. You putting a, B, your all into this yeah, music, yeah, for sure. So that's how I tell I you gotta go all the way. I ain't about to get into it with none, no, with nobody. I ain't got no beef with nobody. Right. If you mad at me, you just mad. Cause, <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't, I'm I'm denouncing all that shit. I ain't got I ain't got no problems with nobody, no issues. Like you know what I mean? Right. I don't owe no niggas no money. No nobody owe me no money. Clean slate. Keep it that way, so you can go ahead and, and see let's, the success. Let's try to change be- the families. Yeah. Trajectory. Let's let's not just that, add to the story. You know what I mean? I got people out there got stories. Like my uncle just came up from jail. He did thirty years of greatest for. You know what I mean? Man, so crazy. like you my know what I'm saying? Like yeah, he he just come home. You know what I mean? Shout out to him. He um 
you know, he's just a story. It's, mm-hmm. a, it's but you know what I mean, you know, I'm on the other end of that. I'm affected by that. He, I'm, I'm part of his family. Like, but you know, you go out and you tell the story. Mm-hmm. It's something for people to just listen to, and like, you know, you consume it from that side. But I'm somebody that was affected. You like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I just, I made that up in my mind. I ain't gonna be another story. You know what I mean? That's like, and, and if I am, if I am gonna be a story, it's gonna be like, yeah, Cuz changed a success story. Yeah, he, he changed. That's what, everything. That's what we gotta get in the habit of making success stories, and not yeah. like these these uh, lesson stories. Like these niggas whose stories could just be a lesson for you. Like yeah. take it from such and such. He used to play ball, and he was nice, and got sent up state. Right, blah, blah, blah. exactly. Yeah. So it's like to reverse that whole thing because it's it's so many people that be on the verge of success and getting something good, rolling, then yeah. some bad shit happen. They get caught up and the first thing we say, damn, he still was in yeah. the streets. So he was still fucking with X, Y, Z. So it's, it's, it's definitely something to talk about. I yeah, feel like that'd sure. be the problem. We don't ever address this shit. We allow niggas to still be in the mix yeah. when you know that they got a ticket. You a yeah, ticket. For sure. Get your ass about the way. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, don't nah. even, don't play with it. Cause these niggas out here not playing at all. They, yeah. You know what I'm saying? These niggas ain't taking no. Yeah, and then it be it no be shorts. it be sad to see somebody actually get there, get to the other side, and then and like then still see the move back. You know what I mean? Like or lose. Exactly. So you know, it's that's my mindset. Mm-hmm. Like I ain't trying to be another story. I don't want to just add to that. I don't want to add to the like you know like the the typical shit. I I want to change my your family I, life. Yeah, like I want. I want to change everybody's life around me. Not only my family, my friends. I want they. I want them to Put them have success and do shit. so they can change their family lives. And now it's like, I oh mean, that's the goal. You know, you can't. You can't. God got time for every. Got a time for everybody. Exactly. But like, I'm gonna do my my best to Make stay focused. And you know what I mean, I'm I'm trying to do everything I can with my time. I ain't trying to prove nothing to nobody or right. you know what I mean, be tough. Or shit like that. I'm, you know what I mean, I'm That's cool off all that. I seen tough niggas die. So like, you know what I mean. That's you, the thing niggas don't be understanding. You, ain't, yeah. you ain't fighting this gun. All that tough should be out the window. Nowadays, everybody got all one. them stripes. Everything you did. Yeah. Your yeah, rest in peace. Post is just gonna be like the nigga that didn't do none of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because he shit. got people that love him too. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. That's the thing. Yeah, you gotta get away from all the that streets. Shit. Wicked, bro. It's wicked. It's a, it's it's. It's really a mind game. It got everybody fucked up. Like, I mean, you know, it's not yeah. really their fault. It's poverty. It's systematic. Like, yeah, yeah it's like, you know what I mean? It go back years. It's like some generational shit. But, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm going to do my best to get out of it. Like, and change it up. Yeah, so. for sure. So, um, you got a whole, it's like a gang of y'all. Some yeah. little spitters. You got Lena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. West. Yeah, the school of the gifted. Yeah, school shout out to the them, gifted. man. Shout That's out a dope to them. Name too. Dope yeah, name. yeah, yeah. And oh. I think it's crazy because you know I think um, Lean Lean had dropped something, and it was just around her being the gift. Mm. Like you know what I mean? And, yeah. Um, and you know it just. That's I had really just linked up with them. Like I mean I I think I had tapped in with Wes. Uh, Wes grew up around my grandma way. Right. You know what I mean? So, like, we got mutual folks and all of that, mutual ties. When we finally linked, it was all love. You know what I mean? Then he introduced me to uh, Lena. He introduced me to Bob. You know what I mean? Will, Deke, all of them. You know yeah. what I mean? And, you know, from there, it's just been building and kind of growing itself. And, you know, it's a lovely thing to see. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So. I can't wait to see what y'all, what y'all come up with. Because I, yeah. I don't think I've heard anything fully. But I, I'm, I am cool with Bob. I'm cool with Lena. I definitely need to see something. Because I'm like, yo. Yeah. Like Lean spit crazy, West spit crazy, you yeah. spit crazy, Deke spit crazy. Yeah, yeah. So it was like, yo, just the, the personalities, boy, that's a fucking, you know, some real outcast type shit. Yeah. In, in my opinion, I'm like, that's like. Hope, hoping to do some shit that'll change our lives. It could be you know something I mean? major that, from that. That's, and, and you know, we got all the tools and resources we need. We got all the connections and everything we so need to make happen. something happen. We don't got to wait. We don't gotta wait till somebody got a bunch of motion going on. Yeah, we no, could, it's time, we, the time. So that's damn. that's kind of what that like that's that's the genuine energy around that. Like we ain't gotta wait. Okay. Like they, you know what I mean? When they reached out and they embraced me, I'm like, damn, I, that's love. Like, right. you know what I mean? I used to watch Lean Bean. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, when when West first reached out, I'm like, damn, I was listening to your tracks a couple years ago. Like my man put me on. You know what yeah. I mean? So like it was all it was all love when when we linked. Then they linked me with Bob. You know, he a legend. 
in the city. You know right, what I mean? and he always um, trying to do good for everybody around him. Yeah, so, you know what I mean? It just makes sense, man. It makes sense. You know what I mean? You know, I'm in full support of whatever they doing. Like, you know what I mean? So, you know, it's, it's the school, man. That's what's up, man. I yeah. can't wait to see what y'all do. You ready for this food? Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, what we get eating, into this man? Food? We about to find out right now. Say that. You already know who it is. Your boy Smooth. Saying here with my guy, man. I leave this cooking at 2 and 5. We'll be right back. Let's go. Yes, sir. It's our favorite part of the show. That's your favorite. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, chef. What you got cooking? You already know. <laughs> You already know who it is, your boy Smooth, and it is my favorite part of the show. It is time to get into that food. Y'all already know our house chef, Chef Dina. She's in the kitchen, you know, as usual. Chef Dina, let the people know what you got for me tonight. We have our amazing rasta pasta. It is mixed bell peppers with broccoli and a piece of seasoned fried chicken on top. Mm, it's looking good, too. I can mm. smell it. I see the jerk. I'm mm -hmm. I'm like a new jerk person. I'm getting, oh, you know what okay. I mean? went to Jamaica, so I started accepting the jerk. At oh, first, yeah. I used to run from the jerk. Wow. Like a curry bowl. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Missing out. What level of spice is this? Ah, uh, mild. Mild? Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. Let the people know where to follow you, how to mm -hmm. get them some of this roster pasta. Absolutely. You can follow me at gkitchen underscore underscore. That's J-I-E kitchen underscore underscore on Instagram. The link is in my bio. All right, no, Chef Dina representing G's Kitchen. It's your boy Smooth, cooking up 2 and 5. Let's get back to the show. Let's go. Y'all already know who it is, your boy Smooth, and it's time to get back to the show. Still sitting here with my guy, man, Ali. Yes, sir. Chef Dina just blessed us with something crazy yeah, with the roster man. pasta, man. Damn, this look crazy. Yeah, it's that time know, we, we got to just find an angle to approach this yeah, joint and go ahead at it. Yeah, no, it look, it look like it's dead, though. Shout yeah, out to I'm Chef Dina, She got man. chicken for days. On. I don't even see the noodles. There's so much chicken on this joint. Oh, uh, right. No, that's a great joint right here. Uh, Shout uh, out to Chef Dina, man. Yeah, no, that thing. Good time. Getting hit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, is that? Is that. Okay. Clean me Alfredo. And the jerk not too overpowering. And that'd be the worst, like when the jerk like too yeah. crazy. Yeah, okay. You can't say enjoy the meal, you know what I mean? Like, unless you're straight from Jamaica and that's just how you get down. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, that's it though. That's it though. Oh yeah. Just that for sure. Yeah. Man, I don't treat you like that. You get a different podcast and shit like that. Yeah, I about to say, man, get down here cooking up, man. You know what I'm saying? Come get y'all a plate, man. Different, different. Different, different. Mm-hmm. Got that fresh, real chicken brush and all that. The broccoli looking all fresh. Mm-hmm. Alright, I'm gonna get to the conversation. I know how y'all get. Getting the joint be hard, man. I be eating. Yeah, I was about to think, uh, if I get quiet, let me know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-mm. Yeah, I get all the way lost in the food. This joint. She ain't played though. This is a food joint. Like this is this a take home joint. Like this is Yeah, like, for sure. It's a feast. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to holler at Chef Dina before we get out of here. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Trying to tell you, she always in the clutch. Mm -hmm. That's the one. But, um, so behind the scenes, we just was talking about production. Mm -hmm. Are you starting a podcast? I seen you doing Boss Talk a couple times. Um, no, it's crazy. I did Boss Talk. Shout out to, uh, shout out to them. Um, I was at a show, my little sister Imani, she had a show. Uh, at Rec Philly. Okay. Um, for my guy who run uh, as I plant the seed, um, it's like a um, foundation, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like mm -hmm. a community organization. Um, right. And she performed, and while we was in there, 
Ball Stalk was having like their interviews. Okay. So they wanted to interview her. I just happened to sit down with her. Mm. And I guess just off the vibe, they just was like, no, yeah, we want you too. Because I had got up there and performed with her too. They was like, yeah, no, we want to interview you too. And I, right. like, I wasn't even prepared for that, but it was genuine. So like the, that's why I looked like that on the camera. Like, just vibed out. Yeah, we you. just vibed out. Mm-hmm. That's sure. Yeah, but no, as far as starting a podcast, I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm crazy because people tell me I'm good in front of the camera. Mm. But I'm, I still got my insecurities. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I still don't be knowing what to do with my hands. I'm still gonna be, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I still got to get used to it. So, right. You know what I mean, you know, down the line for sure, if it makes sense, I'm right. down to do everything if it makes sense. Like, right. you know, if, if, if it aligns with the brand and everything we trying to do, yeah, for sure. Because that's a wave right now. People love to hear conversation. Conversation. You know what I mean? For sure, so, for sure. like, Especially you got something to talk about. Exactly. You know what I mean? So, you know. I, that's that's gonna be like my main thing. Just always make sure I got something to something talk, to talk about. about. You know what I mean? So, so um, since we talking about future endeavors, mm-hmm. you already you know you getting your foot in the music. You know, you're trying to make your wave through there. Yeah. Where could you see yourself, or what could you see yourself doing once you reach where you want to reach in music? Once you get to where you want to get to in music, what are other ventures you can see yourself going into? Man, it's crazy because. I'm I've all I'm I'm the kind of person like whatever I do I'm good at you mm-hmm. know what I mean like if I wanted to play ball I could have played ball if I wanted to play for I was a heavy football dude I put my heart you know I mean I was one of them people I could play different positions mm-hmm. um, play both sides of the ball you know I mean rap whatever the case may be um, graphic design anything like if I put my mind to it I could do it and um, you know I'm. That like like I was saying before, it, it just gotta make sense. So before, like especially like twenty nineteen when I was um like all for music, mm-hmm. I was getting heavy into like you know financial literacy and learning oh, yeah. how money worked and um, heavy on real estate. My uncle Damn. do you know what I mean? You know he uh he buy cribs, renovate them, and flip them. So you know I'm watching him get his money. I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, what you doing over there? You know what <laughs> right. I mean? And he told me. Gave me a few, you know what I mean? He, he pointed me in the right direction, and I went on YouTube and the internet, and then I started figuring out, all right, let me link up with the local people that's doing something that's in doing real estate. Something. And right. I, I'm a fly on the wall. They don't even know I'm in a room half the time. I'm just there. Listening and Listening learning. and picking up a game, and I was heavy in the real estate. So for sure, once the money come and all of that from the music, that's where the, I'm going to be parking the money in different places. and. You know, try and grow it. Um, right. And, you know, just just doing things that make sense. Like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm multi-talented. A lot of people in my family are multi-talented, too. So I'd be, right. you know, I want to get myself to a position where we're able to do anything. Mm. So that way, when it comes, if you want to run a hair salon. We could do that. Sure. Like, you know what I mean? I, yeah, what's up? I'll put it together for you. And now that's what I'm doing. Right. Like, you know what I mean? So it's kind of one of them things. I just want to get us to a position where we can make any move we want to make. And then, you know what I mean? That's that's the real power. Okay. And like, I don't really got nothing. Like, I act. I do everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'm like, this type of shit, too. Like, have you ever thought about acting? You know, nobody approach you about getting in. You know, Philly, we got no. a lot of different shooters, a lot of different producers that really, you know. No, it's put, crazy because, bro, on. you know. I ain't, it's, you don't see me a lot of places. Like, I just started coming outside, so people don't even know to, like, to you know even I mean? hit you they to don't know that I want to do, you know what I mean? So, like, hopefully, you know, when they hear this, this would be that some opening. people will be like, all right, yeah, no, I'm going to fuck with him. Like, he might not know, but he he willing to learn because if it, like I said, if it makes sense, if the role fit me, I'd definitely act. I'll be in something next week if somebody <laughs> hit me in, you know what I mean? So that's hard. it's really just about if it makes sense for me. You know what I mean? for that's, that's, dope. that's dope. Whatever come my way. So given the way you approach music, yeah, like you a heavy spitter, mm-hmm. and right now we in like a heavy drill, yeah. we're kind of leaving like the mumble rap era. Yeah. Like, how do you feel about the music scene as of now? I think, bro, I'm going to put it to you like this. I think that um, music is forever growing mm-hmm. uh, in every era. The era before it hated it, 
You know what I mean? Or like had some somebody had something to say. Some people embrace it, some people, you mm-hmm. know, talk down on it. And um because I'm influenced by a lot of music, right? Like I don't let the hip hop and the boom bet, like you know what I mean, you know, shout out to hip hop, it's the fiftieth year Thanks. anniversary. You know what I mean? Um, cause that was a that's one of the most major influences. That's why I do it. That's what I fell in love with. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But I'm influenced by all kinds of stuff. So I'm one of them people, I'm open to different forms of music and whatever direction the game is going in right this second, right. It, I know eventually it's going to change. Right. So I don't be mad at it. Like whatever, whatever. So you kind of let, let, let it rock. You don't, yeah. you don't judge it too hard. Yeah. Not too I, 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 I fuck with some drill songs. I fuck with some drill artists or if that's what you want to call this era. I fuck with the new era of music. I feel right. like music is doing good. I feel like. You, know you I mean? feel like music, like, you know, so like back in the day, right? Or yeah. Early, you came in. I had on like the old, I had Magna Carta, the Jay Z joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how you could always go to like a classic joint. Yeah. And you could play the whole thing through. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like it's still artists today? Well, I know there is, but that create albums on like on that level where though it's a classic, you could go back, listen to all of it, and it's always going to be not a lot some of vibe and shit. It's not a lot of them. It's like because. The landscape is changing, mm-hmm. so you don't need to drop a classic album to mm. make classic album money. Mm. Niggas just niggas getting smart. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we starting to figure out the game. Oh, we don't, we don't yeah, So I don't really be knocking nobody hustle. Yeah, it's up to niggas like me and other artists. You know what right. I mean? Um, you know, it's up to us to like. Uphold, uphold that type of standard. Great music, right? Because there's always been bullshit around. Yeah, in that in the '70s, there was some bullshit out. You know what I mean? But yeah, they were saying that too. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's always something that people not gonna fuck with, and it's always like the general consensus of where everybody's at right now. Mm. And like, uh, I mean, I try not to compare eras. I grew up in one. I love music from all, right. and I know, like I said, this shit's still growing. So you never know where this shit gonna go. It might. It's going to spin back around to hip hop. Like I, right. I hear people say that all the time. They, they hear me rap. Oh, hip hop on his way back. It's on his way you know back. I mean? yeah. Like and then when you, when you mention like the school of the gifted, mm-hmm. that's rare. Right. You don't really see, like you know what I mean. Some that, real that type, spitters that, in that there. That many like, people link you know up I mean? with the same type exactly. of vibe. Exactly. Like you know what I mean. Shout out to like uh, Griselda um, and them, like Benny the Butcher, Conway. Yeah. You know what I mean, all of them, like they definitely in the because stuff. they. You know, they are another example of just like people getting together and that that should still here for real. Yeah, it's still, still driving music. So it's just up to us to figure out where to fit in. Yeah. Because I don't need to drop out. I, you see, you go on Apple Music, look me up. I got three songs. Yeah. You know I mean, and everything that's going on for me still, like, I've been dropping still songs. Still rolling. Yeah. It's still rolling. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I want to, I'm a classic album kind of guy. So I'll, you I want to create a classic album. Yeah, that's just up to me though. Mm. I it ain't stand. I don't need to. You know what if I mean? you could create, like we we taking all barriers down. Mm-hmm. We getting a straight raw conversation, just talking some hypothetical shit. Yeah. If you could create your classic album, and you could like pull from anywhere, everybody, producers, artists. Yeah. This your dream shit, you know, when you put like, you know, your shit on story mode and you can just yeah. do what you want to do type vibe. Mm-hmm. What would this shit sound like and who would be on it? Man, classic albums. Um, I think for a long time, a lot of hip hop artists was chasing like Good Kid, Man City once it dropped. Mm-hmm. Um, because just top to bottom is undeniable. Uh, I mean, um, I yeah. want your own. Like if you was to create your own. What and you mean, you like, like, all right, so you saying you, who you, would be you on in the it? studio and you were able to, like, put together a magical list. Any producer, any oh. artist, you could pull from anywhere. Um, well, first and foremost, my brother, uh, Jay Saif, who, you know what I mean, we started Crown Gold together. You know what I mean? Well, he started That's your it, producer, and, right? Yeah, Jay, he, he my producer, engineer. He, he met you way he back when, rap, right? Yeah, he sang rap. You had 30 views right on your shit. Man. Yeah, no, no bullshit. That's yeah. how we linked. You know what I mean? And he, and he reached out, yo, bro, you fired. And then we uh, we developed a relationship because he saw that I wasn't just all like rapper. I was like my regular self, you know what I mean? So right. we wound up developing a relationship. So first and foremost, him, he's gonna be on the album because that like 
And, you know, for a while we made music, but I had to convince him. I'm like, bro, we make a different tier of music. Like, mm -hmm. so whatever I do, I don't care what producer I'm working with. I don't, you got to at least be in a room. <laughs> right. like, you understand? Because our chemistry is like that. Right. So That's first dope. and foremost, him. Um, I mean, over all the legends and everything, I, I'm rocking with bro over everybody. Um, but That's then right. Timbaland, yay. Mm. You know what I mean? Just. Uh, I was you know I mean? just yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, for real, I like. I mean, I love, I love the Neptune sound. I think good music in general, like you know what I mean. Um, and then like as far as like features and artists, like I don't know. I, I, I think knowing how young, like growing up, knowing like the the gap between like me getting a whole verse, like you right. know what I mean. You know, if it haven't got, you know what I mean, God willing. That, that it's work your, out it's your me. magical tape. Yeah, for you sure. Can get, yeah. You can get a whole verse. I'm getting, I'm getting a whole verse Pop for sure. Pop might come back alive and give you one too. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? No, if I can have it that way, if it's like the, you know, yeah. the fantasy drawing, it's like a fantasy oh, yeah, drawing. I, yeah. I need the big verse. I need the, I need the big and and, and whole verse on the same. On drum. the same drawing. That's right. Yeah, hard. yeah, for sure. And then like you know, bro, I'm. If I had to pick and choose, like. You know, kiss. I need a kiss verse mm -hmm. for sure. I think I need. I would lock in. I, I grew up on Fifty Cent. Like Fifty Cent is like super. Bull, I, right? It's crazy because I want to say he underrated, but he really not because everybody know. Because people do you know, know him, but, but yo, this is like the second time we bought Fifty. I swear we talked about yeah. It was Monday yeah. we had Sean Smith here and we was talking about Fifty and we but we were talking about his business acumen, like right? Yeah. His books and shit, and I read mm -hmm. his book. But even as an artist, though, we like Fifty is a bull. Like he's, he's, bull. he's one of my top. Like, I grew he's up one on of it. My top. I grew up on it. Like and he influenced us crazy. Me and my folks, he influenced us crazy because wow. at that time he was dominating and like um, he was killing the game. You know, that's that's I feel like rappers like him, yay. Like, mm -hmm. um, they, you know, Hove do it too. But I've always been like a fan of Hove's like lyricism and right. just like how he put it together. Mm -hmm. I mean, Wayne is the same kind of way. They make great songs as well. Like, mm -hmm. but I've been like fantasizing. Like, you know what I mean? I've always like, damn, like you heard that? You heard what he said? Like, mm -hmm. but I feel like with Ye and even Fifty sometimes because I feel like his bars get crazy too. But it's really more about the song and how like they putting the whole thing together. So I would lock in with like Dre and Fifth and yeah. the whole like that whole sound. That they create, mm -hmm. like you know, what I mean, I grew up on big, so like I would want some real type music on my drum. So, yeah. like you know, all them, I feel like all them producers I name, including Bro, you know what I mean, Jay Saif. Um, mm -hmm. You know, if I could lock in with whole big Wayne, you know what I mean, and Kiss. Drake, Kiss. I would, I would, I would work. It gotta make sense. It's Crazy part, Kiss is actually he getting active when it comes to signing artists. Yeah, we had, we had, um, like he got D Jones. Mm -hmm. Um, I got my homie out Pittsburgh was actually talking to Kiss. Kiss was offered him a deal and everything. Yeah, he and some other shit. So he really in the signing people. Like he yeah. really be getting active, down and put, yeah. putting niggas on. Like he he's somebody you definitely might want to talk to. Like yeah, for sure. He and got I'm some spitters, the boy uh, Millie's, yeah. D Jones, his shit, his shit hard. Like mm -hmm. they not playing no games. They yeah. really the so raspy shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, so raspy on some shit. I give him yeah. like two three years. Jay gonna be on. He gonna be on some yeah, on shit. That level, yeah. Yeah. Oh no, he ain't I'm, playing no games. I'm definitely like slow creeping on niggas. It's crazy, bro, because that's the that's the kind of caliber of people that's reaching out, tapping in. Like a lot of like New York fuck with me heavy. So a lot of niggas from New York, like you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm sure I'm gonna run into everybody. If I'm if I'm if I do what I what I set out to do, I'm gonna run into everybody. That's hard. I'm a I'm a meet kiss. You know what I mean? Right. I, I fuck around and get the kiss verse and all of that because what I'm doing is like it's not a facade. Like I said, this shit like playing A, B, and C. So yeah. it's everything is serious, and yeah. I ain't, it ain't about the a lot of the vanity for me. It's like it's this real is, life. It's work to yeah. be done so that way I can get to the point of helping my family be able to do whatever they want to do yeah. like you know what I mean so I'm using my passion as my vehicle to get to my destination once I get there the world gonna open up for everybody around me and like you know if I do what I'm supposed to do 
I'm a run in the kiss. I'm gonna have a conversation with who. I'm gonna talk to these people because these are the people that inf- not only influence me, but they in the game. They run in the game, like you yeah. say. He's signing artists. Yeah, we gonna have a conversation. We gonna talk, like you know, and it, it just gotta make sense. So when, yeah, I know your, your major thing is like taking your people with you. And that's, that's like really big for me too. Yeah, I always tell my team like I don't do this shit for myself. I do this shit for everybody. I want everybody. I want everybody to win. Like yeah, it's trillions of dollars out there. Yeah, like, for sure. We can all get some. Like everybody can have their shit and they plate and they for business sure. and they ventures. You know what I'm saying? We need one shit. Mm-hmm. We get this motherfucker to where we going, and we could build five more ships. Exactly. And then we we lit. But now all of a sudden you got an economy. Now you an ecosystem. You, now you good. Y'all you everybody good. Exactly. And you know, you on some whole shit where your whole team is billionaires. Well, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they got a team like, was a billionaire uh, or is a billionaire, Kanye. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Pharrell that's, coming up next. Pharrell on some shit, shit too. The Louis Vuitton. Like, bro, like, when you put everybody in position, you could go crazy. But yeah, man. it's always this talk about how, you know, people become envious and somewhat feel like you owe them. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Do you, do you ever worry about no. you know, what, what the success could do to you and yours? Um, I, I'm i sure that shit is going to come with it and people mm-hmm. going to act crazy. But, like, um, I think what keep me on track and, like, not distracted by that type of shit is, like, when my brother died, mm. that was, like, one of the most alone time. I had people around me, but I felt but alone. But you felt alone. And, like, you know... That's just one of them, them Jones, and like I, I just, you know, I I, I, re, I go back to that time where like, man, where was niggas at? Like, yeah, you know I mean, like yeah. I was, I was kind of fucked up mentally, so I ain't, I ain't worried about nobody coming around. I'm embracing everything. You come back around, make sure your energy right and all of that. Right. I'm embracing people. I'm trying because my mission is to set everybody up in position to make something happen for themselves, and you yeah. know, now we not on the other side of the fence wishing. To get on the other side, no, it's like we gonna fucking build a ladder over for everybody, for everybody. to come through. Yeah. So like, you know what I mean, you know, if if people energy right, it don't matter. Pop, you just yeah, because yeah, I'm doing, I'm, you know what I mean, I'm. This is like a God driven thing, like you feel what I'm saying. Like I had like a um a health scare in Vegas in 2021. 2021. Yeah, and I was um like it's crazy, like um the. The actual thing was like scary as shit, but I, mean, I was conscious. Was I was um, I, they they said I had a panic attack. That's what they said I had. You was in Vegas. Paint paint the picture for me, cause you know I'm in Vegas. Like it's crazy. I'm in Vegas. You know I'm in Vegas. I'm partying whatever. Right, right. Um, the morning I'm supposed to get on my flight ten in the morning. I'm up like six, get my shit together. You know what mm-hmm. I mean, I'm about to go to the airport. Um, I get a call. One of my family members was in the hospital. You know what I mean, and. It was a rough time for us. You know what I mean? I think I'm a, I start arguing on the phone. All of a sudden, I feel my heart start racing. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, and now it's getting out, like, out of hand. I'm like, all right, maybe I'm upset. I sit down. Like, you know what I mean? And I was calling my, I was calling my Uber to get to the, to the joint. I'm like, all right, well, the Uber on the way. Heart still racing. Before the Uber could get there, bro, I'm hyperventilating. And like, you know what I mean? I was with my girl, shout out to her. She, you know what I mean? She, Get a bag. She get on the phone with uh, her her grandma. She a nurse. Mm-hmm. She get on the phone with her. She like let him breathe into a bag. This that and there. You know I'm hyperventilating. And all of a sudden my muscles start tensing up. Every single muscle in my body though, bro. Like to the point where, like my fingers went numb. Mm-hmm. I can't move my fingers, my arms, and like all my limbs. Right. Now I'm like, damn, I can't really move. Like so much. I fell to the floor and I like was cradling up in like yeah. a fetal position like and like to the point i couldn't talk my face was stuck everything Dang. like I, it was like paralysis and like um I, you know what i mean my girl she there she crying she bawling her eyes out um you know she get on the phone with my folks because she don't know what the fuck about to happen but yeah. i'm conscious though i'm so you, i'm you watching see everything that's going I can't on talk. but you I'm just like, can't uh, do nothing uh, uh, like you know what i mean Dang. so bro i'm sitting there she's she, she terrified because i'm sure i looked crazy you know what i mean and um but the whole time I was sitting there, the one thought that was on the back of my mind was like, damn, you gonna die and not really try this shit? Mm. Like, you know what I mean? So 
coming out of it. You know what I mean? You know everything is cool. I get to the hospital. They're like, yeah, you just was having too much fun. You had a panic attack. <laughs> like I'm much. like, cuz I, I, like I was about die. to die. Like, yeah. <laughs> like cuz they, they called the M And it's crazy cuz she called 911. They like, get off the phone with us. It's a paramedic in the hotel. Yeah. She called the paramedic. They come up to the room. The paramedic get there. She see me. She flipped the fuck out. She start freaking out. So now I'm on the floor like, oh, shit. This shit, this shit real. real. I'm like, I fuck around. Check out. Like, I, yeah. I don't even know what's going on right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm laying there on the floor. She flipping out. She like, oh, my God. All right. I'm going to call 911. So she like, called it. They just told us to yeah, hang up the phone. To call you. Like, she yeah. ain't had no no answers for me. So, like, <laughs> But then I get there. They gave me some, you know what I mean? They gave me IV. gave me some fluid and shit. They was Put just like, yeah, you was dehydrated. You know what I mean? Yeah. Here, take these. Yeah, you know I mean, whatever these pills is, I'm like, man, get these shits out. I don't want no pills from y'all. Like, yeah, I'm like, I, and, and I'm in Vegas. I'm like, they probably just think I was partying. They and, probably seen this shit so many yeah, times. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. They not even thinking. Like, so then I come home, tap with my doctors and shit. Like, you know what I mean? They run tests. I was all, I'm everything good. I'm cool, but it was I, a wake up. Chill. It was a, it was a crazy wake up call for me because not only did I start focusing on like my mental health and like really getting into my depression and stress and all like you know what i mean therapy all of that type of shit like i start mm. really i'm reading books like you know what i mean like all kinds of stuff i start really researching it because i'm like no that can't happen again mm -hmm. like you know what i'm saying like because yeah, we change. don't really have no full answer what happened like you right. know what i mean because all my doctors they like hey no you was good i'm like no, that shit ain't come out of nowhere. No, no bullshit. I kind of, I was mad. My girl did like I almost want to see it because that's how crazy it was. Like, right. you know what I mean, it was just a moment, and like, you know, not to get too long with it on nah, that story, bro, that's, but that's um, type, I like that type of shit. It just, yeah. it, it, it just shows like we all go through shit. We don't talk about this shit. Everybody just be thinking life is sweet. Dude, you no, gotta no experience bullshit. that other side. To I see thought I was checking out, bro. Through. I'm not even gonna lie, and like. I done been through a lot of shit. I done did a lot of shit. You know what right. I mean? I done been in places you ain't supposed to have been in. So that shit just really put a lot of shit into perspective. That was like the joint. And I was like, damn, I'm like, God probably trying to tell me something. Like, you know what I'm saying? So after that, I come home. You know, I, I read with B. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. About it. And I just was like, one day, I just was like, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. I'm like, for the rest of my life, I don't even care how I go. Like, the shit this could work. It could not work. I'm going to be doing it, though, like, as long as I did it, because that was my biggest thing when I was laying there on the floor. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? You know, I'm having all the other thoughts, like, damn, my family going to be sad, you know what right, I mean? Right. People going to be fucked up. I don't want to leave people with so much more to do. But the one thing that was really on my mind was like, yo, like, you fuck around could be one of the greatest rappers ever if you just put your mind, put your to, mind it. to it. Like, but you about to just let life happen to you. And check um, on the fucking people, Vegas. Yeah, you know I mean, on it, bro, this is my first trip. I don't go out the city. I don't go out the country. Right. You know what I mean? Like, matter of fact, I uh, out the country, out the state. I um, I was living in Virginia for a little minute, but like that was the only. I don't really travel, mm. so like I be here. I be in the right. city. I be in the surrounding. Like, you know what I mean? You know, I got places to go, but like I don't really. That was my first like trip as an adult and shit. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Because I be local. So that shit just showed you so much more to do out there. I this might draw. the world too big for me to like check out on some local regular. Yeah. Like it was a part of that kind of like that decision I made with my brother. Like, all right, you either gonna check out or you gonna really take your control own. of your life. Like, right. you know what I mean? Don't stop letting shit happen to you. Like, so that was the wake up call. And from there, bro, I just been rocking. Like, that's my that's my motivation, motivation. right there. Like, yeah. so you I, there though. Yeah, for shit sure. going good, brother, man. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you. Yeah, I'm I appreciate you, bro. Moving. I definitely, I was watching before the co the, the Cosmic Cab joint. Mm -hmm. Like I was already tapped in. Like we had Lean in here, so I tapped yeah. in. I already talked to West. Like West supposed to come up too. Yeah, so it was yeah. like I'm. I was already Gotta tapped in. Yeah. So when I seen the Cosmic Cab joint, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. he about to go. Like yeah, you know what sure. I mean? It's this crazy thing. Like every time when I find somebody. Man, my phone. They be about to go. Like something happens and then they start going crazy. The yeah. Scarlet Shorty, I was on her far before yeah, she just yeah, did yeah. the New York John. When she was rapping in the parking line, I yeah, used to look at her like now. all she yeah. gotta do is switch her look up a little bit because she rap every day. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, but she just look a little rough. That shit caught she on. Too rough. And then she she caught on. Somebody grabbed her. Yeah. So it's good to see. I'm I'm looking forward to see what else you got, you know, yeah, coming bro. up next. 
You got a tape about to drop, right? Um, no, not a tape. I got a single about to drop. Oh, it's, it's, you know what I mean? It's, it's some something, something light for the fans. You know what I mean? A lot of people been bugging me because I only got the three tracks. They trying to hear shit. something. Yeah, they though. trying to hear something. You know what I mean? And rightfully so. What's the name of this joint? Um, before the money come. Before the money come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the name was so epic. I thought it was an album. Yeah, I'm no, like, lot, oh, he got a like lot of people. Yeah. A lot of people hit me like, damn, what's, what you about to do, bro? Like, yeah. what, what's, what's before the money come? It just sound like it that. It sound like one of them joints. It was just something I wrote. You know what I mean? I just was like, I heard the beat. The beat was real simple. And then I hit Monty up. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So, you know, when it come out, you hear it. Mm. Uh, Monty on the end she playing the keys. The yeah. She playing the keys, though. That's hard. Crazy. She, you know what I mean? She just added this piece to it that just, with the lyrics I'm saying, I kind of tried to, like, sum up how I felt about my past up until this point. Mm. Like, cause now it's like if I continue to do what I'm doing now, the money about to come. The money about to come. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So like, I tried to sum up everything in like a few words. Like, that's you know what I mean. So when it come out, you know what I mean, you know, that's that's the that's the energy and the vibe on it. Um, you yeah. know, it's something like I said, I dedicate everything on along this journey to Jay and Mary and like so. They my they they my brothers, my real brothers. I got them. They on my skin. Yeah. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Like so, you know. Um, it's serious. It's it's one of them joints. It's 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 like it, it's it touch your heart when you when you listen to it, and that's what I try to do with my music. I try to put everybody not in my shoes directly and talk about my exact layout of my story. But, but I want I want you to feel how I felt. Like that's mm -hmm. my biggest thing. So like that's what I'm trying to do with this joint. That's hard, bro. Yeah, before the money comes, July 10th, man. That's yeah. when it come out, man. Let everybody know. Where to follow you at, how to take yeah, it, man. everything. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. This the number one for Gordy. You know what I mean? On all social platforms. I'm Amir Ali on YouTube and, you know what I mean? You know, all the, uh, all the music platforms. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, this one for Gordy should be on everything. Yeah, Real yeah. quick before we get out of here. Otis yeah. Gordy. That's his name, right? Uh, Jay. It's Jay. That's Jay. That's, That's who Jay? that is. Yeah. So his name, his, his name James Joseph, Otis. Oh, James Otis. James Gordon. Otis Gordon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So that was your brother. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So that was, you know, Jay, you know, Man Man passed away 2019. Jay passed away 2013. Mm. So for a long time, that was our, that was you know what I mean, our thing, our dedication. And I, I had wrote a rap. I had wrote a rap and I started, uh, man, fuck it, this one for Gordy. If we do anything, we're going to do it right. And from there, that's just been my handle. That's you know what I mean? Job. You know, a lot of people hit me up. <laughs> I mean, I was having a conversation. Calling with, uh, you Gordy? Uh, yeah, that. And um, people that know, like, um, shout out Tierra Wack. Like, she hit me. She like, yo, you got to change your name. Mm. She like, you know what I mean? She not the first person to say it, but she was just like, yo, we, we got to get out of Mary Ali. I'm like, I don't know. It's somebody it's else that got. It's a hard battle for you? It's, a, it's somebody that um got, got Amir it. Ali directly, so I would have to do some underscore type shit in the front. Keep Gordy in you it. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I, I, it's a dedication to my brother, and that's what I told her. I was like, yeah, it's, it's for my brother. She was like, oh, all right. Then I mean, you can still, you can switch it, but still keep the Gordy, like, you yeah. know what I mean? And then people, and people. People got weird off names on socials yeah. and shit like that. They That's all types of shit. Yeah, it's so just I, social media. Yeah, it ain't. I don't, fuck, it don't even really matter. You know what I mean? You know when you when when you look at the stuff that matters, say I'm Mary Ali. You exactly. know what I mean? You going to listen to music and say I'm. It don't say this one for right. me. I might have some shit in there to hint to it. If you know, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what Listen, I'm man, I appreciate you coming through. My God. Hope you enjoyed the eats. We definitely yeah, about to fuck sure. this up. It's, Please. This yeah, is yeah, an yeah, intricate yeah. meal. I, I was trying to dig, but this joint needs some. Yeah, it needs, yeah, yeah. It needs some, some time. The right kind of attention. Yeah. And I wanted to give y'all, you know what I'm saying, y'all time. So uh, now I'm going to fuck it up. Yeah, for I appreciate sure, bro. you coming through. I My really God. Really fuck with the meal. Yeah, you know what yeah. I appreciate everybody, man. Setting this up. Shout out Manny. You know what I mean? Yeah. Putting, no, sure, putting the sure. word in my, my ear. Um, you know what I mean? Shout out Chef Dina. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I'm about to go crazy. Yeah. We got to do man. this, though. Y'all yeah. already know who it is. It's your boy Smooth. Up. It's my guy, Mary Lee. It's cooking up to one of five best podcasts in the city. Let's go. Let's get it.